I'm not really bothered. I'm just. I guess I'm just being picky. Um, so I don't know wh where, where should I begin. Uh, background is that I don't have a. I don't have the. Everyone normally brings. Oh, I had this harsh lifestyle. I was raised in the hood, and no, no, none of this. Alhamdulillah, I had a good upbringing. I mean, it wasn't exactly Islamic. Uh, but in terms of just general universal morals, so no, no drinking, no, I was very, you know, no relationships, you know, not swearing, cursing, just the things that you find in it generally are worldwide known. So I mean, I was, I was, but even though this this culture was around me, I never really, at an early age, I was never really sucked into it. Um, so I always had, so even though parents were not really knowledgeable in Islam, uh, they still taught you know the basic manners that generally that, you know which you should be lacking now. So may uh, Allah preserve them. Uh, they, they still, even though the lack of the knowledge, they still were able to give me some at least ba basic foundation. Um, but, but when. Uh, I think then eventually then it got to the stage when I never used to listen to music or anything even in high school I never listened to music because most of it was very very you know cheesy you know there's no content but then I got introduced to hip hop and this was a very uh, I, cause I, up until then I thought myself very strange because everyone used to listen to music and I thought what, what is wrong with me I, why do I not see anything Enjoyable because it was all pop music and charts and the, all this rubbish. As a, as far as I saw it, but then someone introduced me to hip hop, and this was something very different for me, and I, I really got hooked on. And it was really, really, I got serious addiction. This became like life. I mean, it was such a degree that I did not, you know, I was so addicted to it. That I did not even have a chance to build uh, in addiction to TV. You know, most people have problems with the TV, but I was so deep in the music, I never even had time for TV. So, in in a way, uh, I was always in the studios or in the, my bedroom composing. Make I never really I was I was more of a writer and a producer. I didn't actually vo vocally perform. Uh, so I ma mainly used to be in production and sound engineering and all the other stuff. So that's what occupied most of my time in college, the years of college. So I used to be in the studios with the other people, like-minded. It wasn't really that sort of cheesy, the hip-hop, you know, that sort of minimalistic. It was more, it still had that same foundation that I was brought up with. So it was still wrong, but what I mean is, it wasn't like that. The main, what you normally hear in the commercial. So it was more. It generally had an okay message. It was not about Islam, just generally. But so it was more intellectual sort of style than just club being being here. Yeah. More yeah, more more poetry style. Not that. No, no, none of the club stuff. So. It was a stage where now, uh, the, my local area, I was being noticed. So, I, I mean, it, it get basically, it got offered to the point where I was offered money for my work. But the the thing that basically made me realize that this was not the way uh, was basically then they they start they asked me to come to the clubs because this was a no no for me. Uh, I never, you know, no matter how much. You know the cursing and all the the, the the rubbish that you do in the the songs, but I never liked the lifestyle. So when they started saying, "Come to the clubs, we'll promote you," the DJs used to say, well, "Come on, we we'll bring you to the clubs, and we can you know we can make you big and this and that." You know, but so from the, at this point when I when I declined, then basically I just became a recluse. You know, for yourself. So after this, I realized I, I'm only doing it because I like it, not because I want to be famous or anything. So I just used to stick to myself in my bedroom, just making, just making the tracks for myself, for my own uh, amusement. At this point, I I start I stopped listening to music. 
made by other people it was all in my own stuff that I was in um, and then at this point uh, I had a younger brother basically and he was a, he has slight learning difficulties he, he like he's not severe he generally he's a, he's a bit slow a bit slow um, so he was always in, in sc- when he started high school uh, he was always uh, picked on so it got to a point where I, I said to him um, you, you need to you know defend yourself so you know just t- taking some lessons Kung Fu start taking Kung Fu so I said go on uh, and Alhamdulillah he, he's, he's a person that is very very he has tunnel vision you know mentally he has tunnel vision meaning that he's very focused on something when he, when his eye is on something nothing else matters so even though he, he has learning, learning uh, problems when his mind is on something then he, he, nothing matters he will fully exert himself so this became his obsession once he started his Kung Fu this became his life 8 hours training jogging before and, and he, he's, he's only 13, 14 you, know, he used to, you, you would see him in the park 